Alrighty! Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're getting um, something else. You will see what we're getting, but um, it's something we've never gotten before. Nope. Never gotten before. But you'll see. But it doesn't run, so uh, we're going to fix it. It's going to be a nice fixing series on the channel. It should only take a couple videos. I know exactly what's wrong with it. So, uh, it shouldn't be too much to fix. We got all the knowledge we need. Or, you know, we don't have all the knowledge we need. We might need some more, but that's what you live for, is knowledge. That's what you live for, knowledge. The, okay, enough with the freaking ranting and stuff and be bopping around. Let's go get this bad boy and load her up on the trailer and start digging into her because we got to get her going. So tomorrow we're going to go pick her up and uh, I can't wait, actually. We're going to get this bad boy running. So uh, we'll see you out there, out on the trailer. All right, well, we're loading up a new truck. What is it? Old Lariat here. <laughs> what could it be? It, yeah, we're winching her up. She don't run, boys. <laughs> we got another one. Well, boys, when one leaves, another one arrives. 0360, boys. Dually extended cab Lariat. It's a Lariat, boys. Whoa, we're all zoomed in. What the hell is going on? Um, I think it needs an H pop. Uh, I'm not sure yet, but let's see four-wheel drive dually a little bit of rust, but you know that ain't bad She ain't bad boys a little crack here, but Alrighty boys and fellers. We are getting finally started on this uh, dually here um, I think We're gonna test the IPR valve first. Um, we're gonna pull the IPR valve out uh, make sure it's not clogged or nothing um and then, you know, put in, put the new one in, you know, might be the IPR valve, who knows. If it ain't, we got a new one. Um, so what we got to do to get to the IPR valve, it's underneath the turbo here. So uh, it's going to be a little tricky. We've got the right tools, so it's not going to be tricky at all. Got to take the air intake off. Got to get this. And then we got to take the air. We got to take this out, this out, and then we should be good. So give me about two seconds to get all this stuff off. All right, so our two seconds is up and we got all this bull crap out of here. Uh, um, yeah, this has moved a little bit. Move this back. All right, our IPR is way the hell back up in here. Um, yeah, the flashlight's on. So it's way back. Way back up under here. I'm touching it right now. It's right behind this um, intake manifold. Right back there. I'm feeling it. Right there's a connector, and now we gotta get these, uh... Oh, dick! Son of a dick! Oh, hell! Oh, shit! Oh! That hurt. But we got our special IPR valve socket here. Um, we're gonna slide this on. We got a little, uh, swivel and a little ratchet. So, uh, let's try this, see what works best, and I'll let you know what works best so y'all can do it. Alright, so the easiest way is to take this, uh, thick and bracket out. Um... You got a nut back there, one there, one there, and then one at the bottom down there. Um, but we just broke this uh, IPR valve loose. About to spin it off. We can get her here. Come on, old gal. It was, it was on there pretty good. It was probably on there with about 500,000 foot-pounds of torque. We just uh, broke it right loose like it was nothing. Spinning it out here. I'm kind of interested to see how this IPR looks. Pull this socket off. Our socket. Alrighty, here she comes, boys. Come on out of there, old gal. And I think the screen is completely missing. Yep, the screen is gone on this old gal. That ain't good. Pretty sure there's supposed to be a screen there. Interesting. All right, so we got our Ford Motorcraft IPR valve here for this thing. Um, got this from Blessed Performance. If you need one, let me know. I can get you one immediately. So DM me if you need an IPR valve or ICP sensor or anything. If you need anything, let me know. All right, let's open this bad boy up. Um, Alright, so here's the new versus the old. 
and you can see the old one um kind of missing something there at the end a little screen that is uh not there that is not good so we're gonna put the new one in and see if that does the trick if not then it's probably a high pressure oil pump all right so we got the uh new ipr on took probably two seconds um let me grab that socket off of there you can just see that socket's on there oh yeah all righty there she is you can see, oh my get the hell out of the way there y'all can see it right there now we gotta plug that uh connector back in there and then uh should be good put some batteries in it and see if she'll uh start all right well we got the batteries in gonna see what she does here hmm i'm gonna try this again see what happens here Um, we got a new starter for it because it's turn over slow as shit. Um, we got this hood here because it just rained like five inches. And uh, we don't want to, don't feel like laying in the mud. So we're going to get up in there. Got all the tools we need to change this starter out. So we're going to change this starter out and then see if it does anything. Well, boys, here we go. Got the new starter in. Got her hooked up. Batteries in. See what she does. Let's go! <laughs> Hell yeah! She's running a little rough, but she probably hasn't ran in about a couple while. Um, let's shut her off and see what it might be. Plug in the uh, tuner. Might just be an injector or something. So we're out here um, putting some Dox diesel fuel filters and oil filters in this gal because I... Uh, I was like, well, we're going to check the filters, you know, my, I'm, I've got them, so might as well change them. Um, this one here looks like it should have been changed probably a couple miles ago. I mean, look at that oil. That is, uh, pretty dark. Not too sure about y'all, but... That in there looks a little dirty compared to that one. So we better change it immediately. Here we go, boys. Let's try her again. We got some new oil, filters, and uh, see what she does. Fires right up. I think there's some uh, air in the uh, oil system. We just gotta let it run, get the air out, and uh, it should be good. Seems to be running decent. Howdy, howdy, everybody. All right, we're back here again, like a couple days later. We had to order something on Amazon. It's got a hot nose start. We got the oil up to temperature, about 140, and then uh, shut it off, and then tried starting it again, and um, she just cranks and cranks, and then she only builds like maybe 300 PSI, so too sure what is going on here, but we're gonna do an air test. We're going to take the IPR valve back out, and we're going to screw this thing in there. And then I'm going to hook it up to an air tank on a valve. And then uh, open up the uh, both valve covers here. And uh, listen for any air that's happening. Let's see if we have an O-ring out on an injector or something, dummy plug, whatever. We'll have to listen to where the air is coming out. So uh, let's see what we can find. All right, so we fill up the old cheetah here. Um, it's got a little leak in it here, but it should be fine. Now we got the valve here. We're going to turn this on and see if we hear anything. We took out the cap on this valve cover and then the oil filter cap. Took that off. We're going to turn the valve on. Nice and slow. You hear the oil bubbling. All right, so we did the test and I uh, turned on the valve and I put my ear down in there and I could definitely hear it in there. And I can definitely hear it in that one over there. I put my ear up to there. Definitely can hear it in there. I wonder, I wonder if it's not the injectors. Because I know the one injector's going out. Probably the injector O-rings. So we're going to try that. Uh, we're going to pull the valve covers off. And uh, try the injectors. 
I think that's going to be it for this video. We'll um, get the injectors in, pull off them valve covers, and do another air test with the valve covers off in the next video. Um, so we'll probably do that here this week, probably. Um, it's been a nice slow little moving project. All right, so yeah, that's all we got going on there. Um, we got to get that bad boy done. And then uh, we're starting on some other stuff as well. So there'll be another video out of the old 6.0 here soon. And uh, we'll be getting her going. Um, it's lost a lot of weight, let's just say that. Or gained a lot of weight and lost some. I don't know, you'll see. We'll see you on the next one, boys and girls.